guys, welcome back to another video and hope you have a great day. Welcome or if you are new, welcome my name is Jai and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another video from I think this is Grey Rant and we have another video from Avatar. I really enjoy these Avatar little side videos. What happened to Zuko after Avatar the Last Airbender? I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. Zuko made a death pact with Aang? What happened to Azula? And did Zuko finally find his mother? Come on, you're lying if you say you don't want to know. Avatar The Last Airbender ended with Zuko becoming the new Fire Lord and peace being brought to the Four Nations. But so many questions were still left unanswered. And even more questions arose when he then appeared in The Legend of Korra. Well, instead of there being a fourth that. season, the Avatar story would continue before The Legend of Korra in a comic series published by Dark Horse. Using this and hints left in The Legend of Korra, we can find some answers to these important questions. Let's dive in and answer some of these burning questions about what happened to Zuko. One of the biggest questions we're left with at the end of Season 3 is where is Zuko's mother? During Zuko's childhood, Zuko's mother, Ursa, prevented Ozai from killing him and vanished afterward. At the end of the series, Zuko asks Ozai about her location while he's behind bars. This is one of the major plot threads throughout the Dark Horse comics. After an investigation including Zuko's no longer imprisoned sister, Azula, we learn of their mother's fate. After vanishing from the Fire Nation palace, Ursa returned to her old hometown, where she met Norin. Norin, as it turns out, is Ursa's childhood friend and old boyfriend, Ikem, mm. except he has a new face. After Ursa left to marry Fire Lord Ozai, Ikem became a straught and asked an ancient spirit, the Mother of Faces, to grant him a new face. This allowed him to live a new life in his hometown, and he offered Ursa the same. Ursa took this opportunity to become Noriko, and the spirit wiped all of her memories. She then went back to her hometown, married Norin, and had a daughter named Kiyi. Zuko and Team Avatar then travel to the hometown in search of Ursa. After confronting the Mother of Faces, they learned that Noriko was indeed Ursa. Ursa regained her memories, and Zuko gained a new family to bring back home to the capital. While trying to learn the true origins of firebending, Zuko and Aang came across two great dragons, Ran and Shaw, supposedly some of the last of their kind, as Zuko's grandfather Azulon began a tradition of hunting them for glory. Dragons at some point in the series were partners with great firebenders. We see Avatar Roku died alongside his dragon Fang, and Fire Lord Sozin was also blessed with one. It is said that dragons only form strong bonds with humans they respect. And while we never see the point where Zuko gained a dragon, at some point between The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, Zuko adopted and trained a dragon named Druk. Zuko uses Druk as his mount in The Legend of Korra and provides some assistance throughout the series. Druk is also apparently a descendant of the great firebending masters Ran and Shaw. During The Last Airbender, Zuko and his father have a terrible relationship. All Zuko wants to do is to impress his father and for Ozai to be proud of him. But instead, Zuko was abused, scarred, almost killed, and then like banished. So it's safe to assume why Zuko would believe Azula when she stole a letter that questioned whether he was Ozai's son. You see, Ursa was not in love with Ozai. The Fire Sages told Ozai's father, Fire Lord Azula, Zulon that a martial union between a descendant of Avatar Roku and his bloodline would ensure a powerful lineage of rulers. Ursa was Avatar Roku's granddaughter. During the last Airbender comics, Zuko and Azula have another one of their famous spats and Azula reveals that his mother had been sending letters to her old hometown. She proceeds to burn all of them, bar one that alluded that Zuko is the son of Ursa's former lover, Ikem. This would have affected his 
claim to the throne, but was also slightly relieved that he might not be Ozai's son. After Zuko finds Ursa with her new identity as Noriko, we find out the truth. The letter was a lie. Zuko is Ozai's son. You see, Ursa was suspicious that Ozai was intercepting her letters, and to goad him into revealing if he was, she wrote a fake letter to Ikum inferring that Zuko was his son. Ozai confronted Ursa, and she reveals that the letter was fake, but said that even though Zuko was indeed Ozai's son, she wished Zuko was Ikum's son instead. Ozai then replied that he would grant her wish and treat Zuko as if he were not one of his own. Zuko was not immediately accepted by everyone as the new Fire Lord. Many saw Zuko's attempts at diplomacy as a weakness. The Fire Nation was powerful, intent on conquering the world, but Zuko was intent on the Fire Nation taking responsibility for its crimes. As a result, a small rebel group formed, intent on restoring Ozai to the throne. This was the New Ozai Society. The society was headed up by Yukano, the father of Zuko's ex-girlfriend Mei. After Zuko's coronation as Fire Lord, he rejected the invitation to join Zuko's cabinet, for he believed that Zuko was a traitorous usurper. Instead, Yukano gathered Ozai loyalists in secret and formed a militant group intent on deposing Zuko. The new Ozai society attacked Zuko, even threatening to kill his new family if he did not step down from the throne. As it turned out, however, the society itself had doubters amongst its ranks. Kei Lo, a friend of Zuko's ex-girlfriend Mei, assisted Zuko in repelling their attacks and saving his family. Zuko and his allies went on to defeat the new Ozai society, but failed to capture their leader. Zuko's time as the Fire Lord was filled with success, compromise, and also rebellion. To establish a government he could trust, Zuko enacted major restructuring, removing members loyal to his father, the previous Fire Lord Ozai. His main effort was to try and repair the damage of the Hundred Year War. As such, he supported the Harmony Restoration Movement, which aims to move Colonials back to the Fire Nation. However, upon learning that the Colonials had already formed strong enough bonds to form multinational families, he rejected the plans, creating tensions that threatened to return the world to war. This resulted in a battle for the colony of Yu Dao, but ultimately resulted in it becoming the first independent example for the United Republic of Nations. At the end of The Last Airbender, we see Zuko and Katara defeat Azula before she is crowned the Fire Lord. Azula has quite the arc throughout the comics after being released from prison. She has consistent psychotic breaks, hallucinations, and attacks people at random. She almost kills her mother because she thinks she was replaced by Ursa's new family. After attacking Zuko at several points, announcing that she would be Fire Lord, she disappears. However, this all comes to a head when it turns out Azula has supported both the new Ozai society and Yukano in his further efforts to dethrone Zuko. She goes on to form a militant group called the Fire Warriors, who are the ones who kidnapped children from the capital in disguise as the Kamari Kage. Zuko tries to stop Azula, but gets defeated. The thing is, though, Azula doesn't want to kill Zuko or become Fire Lord anymore. She aims to mold Zuko into a tyrannical leader just like his father Ozai. She spares Zuko and vanishes continues to watch from afar, but we never see her again. Zuko tries his best to form an actual connection with Azula despite all of this, but Azula was too far gone to hear any of it. During the first Dark Horse comic, The Promise, Aang, Zuko, and the rest of the gang are celebrating the end of the Hundred Year War, during which Zuko makes a grave request. Zuko was concerned that, given his newfound power and authority, he would slowly start to become like his tyrannical and ruthless father, Ozai. As such, he made Aang promise that if he were to start becoming like Ozai, Aang was to end his life. Aang hesitantly accepted. He was cursed with insomnia, confused as to how to lead his people into this new age of peace, especially regarding the Fire Nation colonies across the world. Eventually, as the Earth Kingdom demanded the return of some of the Fire Nation's colonized land, Zuko was forced to mobilize his military to defend the city of Yu Dao. During this battle, he faced Aang in his Avatar state, and at that moment, he accepted his death. Aang dismantled the conflict and chose not to kill Zuko. They agreed that this death pact was not something to force upon the Avatar's shoulders, and so they relieved each other of the promise. 
Shortly after becoming the Fire Lord, Zuko survived multiple attempts on his life. Resentment grew against the Fire Lord for his policies regarding the Harmony Restoration Movement, leading to a total of six assassination attempts in his first year. A notable attempt was by Fire Nation colony resident Cory. Cory proved to be too much for Zuko's guards, but Zuko fought back and captured her. This would lead to him visiting her home colony of Yudao. He faced off against her father, Mayor Morishita, who also also resented Zuko for betraying his people. This confrontation would lead to Zuko changing his mind about separating colonists from their newfound multinational home, which would eventually become the United Republic of Nations. During The Legend of Korra, we see Lord Zuko aiding in the fight against the now-escaped Red Lotus members, but as it turned out, he was one of the people who imprisoned them. In 158 AG, Zuko joined forces with Southern Chief Sokka, Tenzin, and Tonrak to deal with the ringleaders of the Red Lotus, who intended to kidnap the new Avatar Korra and use her for their gain. The group was able to defeat the four ringleaders and send them to specially constructed White Lotus prisons, which would serve to neutralize their bending abilities. One in particular was Pali, a combustion bender who had the same powers as an assassin that Zuko once worked with to oh. kill the Avatar. Zuko went on to have children in his later life, fathering future Fire Lord Izumi and becoming a grandfather to future United Forces General Iroh. He ruled as Fire Lord for 67 years, during which he also spent time with his mother's newfound family. His half-sister Kiyi even went on to call him Zuzu, which Zuko remarked sounded a lot better coming from her than from Azula. And there you have it, Zuko's story that you never knew. Personally, I would have loved to see even more of what Zuko got up to. He's an amazing character. Yeah, like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Yeah, Zuko is a favorite character in the La Avatar Last Airbender. Um, listen to the comics and um, listen to the story evolve. It definitely should have been a season four. A season four. I don't know, I know it was about ending the war, but I feel like listening to those comics, it should have been into, into cartoon form. That's what I mean. So thank you guys for tuning to this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, leave a comment down below of any suggestions you want me to react to. And I know you may see the, my light, the light getting dark because the sun says going down. And yeah, until next time. I always say, show life, do what you want, and do it probably.